Ignis! Ugh! <laughs> 
Eat this!
Something's wrong. I feel... I feel... What the... Darkness, protect me. No! I'm fine. Forget it. Never you mind. It's nothing. Even if it was something, I'm clearly not going to tell you, am I? Let's go. I was watching you at the Grove Gate. You spilled enough goblin blood to fill the Chionthor. 
Where did you learn moves like that? That much is apparent. Perhaps we might compare notes, brush up on the basics. The Blade's not often keen on sharing his glory. But if he has to, better it be with a champ like you. Was a time I didn't amount to much. But then, uh, a higher purpose called to me. Killed a few goblins, freed a few captives, and I was hooked. The only life I want is a hero's. Now, let's get some rest. I do my best goblin killing at sunup. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. That... that can't be. You're mad! But, tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flayer. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous! Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just Peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Something the matter? I... I don't know. Something to do with the tadpole, who's to say? Another mystery to add to the pile. We don't know how this works, not really. Maybe it varies a little, person to person. Don't worry. It won't matter once we find a cure. And if we don't find one, well... We'll be past our worries then. Very. It wanted to lash out at you. Luckily, I was there to stop it and save your life. Anything else? So that's to say you'd like to pry a little. You do seem like the type, I must say. Just an observation. No offense taken. See? We're learning something about each other already. For instance, you're a quick-to-anger type, aren't you? Even less self-control than brains.
Oh, I think you'll find that I am. Knowing what makes people tick is a skill of mine. If you want something from a person, you need to know when and where to squeeze. And I've revealed all I'm willing to, at least for now. Now I suggest you let matters rest, or else we'd better part ways. We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. I must admit, you've been a surprise, and not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. And what's there to think about? Just a group of desperate people at each other's throats. Hardly a unique occurrence these days. Unless they can help us with our problem, I don't see it as being worth much of our time. <laughs> 